Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, why not do some makeup? And not one guys, I'm gonna be showing you three different super cute, super easy summer looks. I'm gonna show you how to recreate a simple, stunning, glowy summer goddess trend. And then in look number two, I'm gonna teach you how to do a really fun and quirky white graphic liner trend. And in look number three, I'm gonna show you an orange popsicle trend. This video is done in partnership with Amazon and every single product that I've used to create all of these three looks I've received from Amazon and I will link them all down in the description bar for you. Now, let's get started. But before that, let me get my hair out of my face because we do not need our foundation sticking to the hair. I've already prepped my skin with skincare and sunscreen and now I'm gonna use the Lacme Blur Primer. During summer, we have a lot more bumps and texture on our face and our Blur Perfect Primer like this will give the smooth, perfect canvas. Next up is a lightweight foundation. You don't want something thick and cakey and greasy on a hot, humid summer day. I'm using the Faces Canada Ultim Pro Second Skin Foundation because it's light as air and it gives me pretty good coverage. Today I'm using Ace of Face Foundation Stick in 52 Coretto by Sugar Cosmetics. I'm picking this up directly with my concealer brush and I'm gonna buff it just underneath my eyes and also around my mouth. This gives me the most skin-like finish instead of the Instagram perfection flawless filter kind of a look. So I still have a little bit of my spot and stuff peeking through and I think there is a beauty to that as well. You can still see my skin. And to set my skin before it starts creasing, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I dunk my powder brush into the powder and really work that powder into the brush so there is no excess powder sitting on the brush. For this, I usually take a palette and I drop the powder into it. I just couldn't find one inside. So right now I've worked the powder into the brush and then I'm just going to dab that under my eyes, around my mouth because this is where we sweat a lot and we wear the mask and then my frown lines because Jovi frowns a lot, you guys. <laughs> I'm not swiping it, I'm dabbing it, you see? So we're not going to disturb the different layers of foundation. For a diffused, more natural glow, I like to take a bigger, fluffier powder brush to apply my highlighter. It's not like a stripe of gleaming. I feel like that is so 2017. I use the same powder brush for all my powders. You know that by now. If you have a top like this, you can also apply a little bit of highlighter to your collarbone. I think it's very, very sexy. Maybe on your arm as well. You know, highlighter is a product that you will never, ever, ever, ever finish. So you can be generous with it. Apply it everywhere. Make sure that your whole body is glowing oh yeah <laughs> with that same brush i'm gonna pick a terracotta beautiful shade for summer guys it gives you the illusion of tan and kind of like a sun-kissed glow take it up the arch of your brow as well it just unifies that suntan moment that we're going for when we start embracing our brown skin, oh, the confidence that we have and how beautiful we start feeling is immense. We learn how to work with makeup to complement our skin tone instead of, you know, trying to look like someone else that we're not meant to look like. Do you see what that terracotta blush did? Mm -hmm. For the brows, I'm gonna first wipe off all that foundation and powder gunk that got into my brows. And then I'm gonna take that Charmacy eyebrow pen with three points. I'm just going to fill in my bald spots, which is mostly on the outer edge of my brow. If you have sparse brows, all you have to do is hold this right flat like this and flick it up like this. And to make sure that my brows stay up and feathery, I'm gonna take this Brow Bro from Indulgio and brush my brows upward this will also give you an instant lift to your face do you see how this side of my face just looks mm, mm, snatched my goodness the difference that gel made i almost look surprised if you've got the makeup revolution reloaded velvet rose you can use this right now i'm gonna take this deep brown orange shade on a fluffy eyeshadow brush. In large circular motions, I'm gonna apply this all over my eyelid and on my crease. A soft, 
wash of color all over your eyelid instead of very precise pigmented application now I'm gonna pick up this shimmer shade right in the center and take your mirror look straight into it and apply it where you see your iris okay not in the center of your eyelid I feel like that's a mistake that a lot of girls make now I'm gonna take that same fluffy eyeshadow brush dip it into this whitish and just pop that underneath my brow for an additional lift to make your lashes look really really full without applying false lashes you can take a brown eyeliner and tight line your eyes and today guys i'm using this brown high def soothing eyeliner pencil from kiro beauty and when you reach the tip of your corner just flick it out the same with the inner corner as well just flick it forward you can barely see a difference but trust me it does something. <laughs> now for mascara, I'm gonna use Color Bar Zoom and Whoosh Mascara. I love this mascara because it has two settings, okay? A lengthening version and a volumizing version. I like to use the lengthening one on my lower lashes, the volumizing one, and then wiggle this into the base of my lashes. So I'm gonna use two lip lacquers from Kiro Beauty. I'm using them in the shade Vintage Wine and Roasted Walnut. Adding a touch of darker color right in the center of your mouth just pouts up your lips like no one else. Man, I'm spilling all my tips in this one, aren't I? Look number two, we're gonna have fun with the eyes. And for that, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Neutrals Palette. And I'm gonna pick this beautiful berry shade, a little metallic right here. I'm gonna pop this on my eyelid. Every single product that I'm using will be linked down in the description bar below. They're all available on Amazon. They have some amazing offers and deals going on right now. So if you've been looking to get yourself some Makeup Revolution palettes, uh, right now is the time and Amazon is the place. With this deeper burgundy shade right here, by the time we reach the outer corner, I'm gonna kind of wing this look just a little bit. Make sure that it's even on both sides. That's always the complicated bit when it comes to winged shapes. A little bit of white to the inner corner. I've got these colorful eyeliners from Cuffs and Lashes. Starting with that purple shade, I'm just gonna apply a very basic winged eyeliner. I'm not taking it all the way to the inner corner, just the outer tip. I'm gonna mix in that pink color and apply it right on top of the Purple. Time for that white eyeliner guys. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because if I mess this up, it's white, it's dark, it's going to be on my eye. We got this. What we're gonna do is create a little moon shape right here. I'm gonna go and thicken up just the center and also even out and do the fine tuning that the artist in me really craves to do at this point. Now we're gonna do a little wing right underneath my iris. I'm gonna drop a white dot. Ah, how cute is that? A little bit of mascara to tie in the look together, of course. I'm gonna go for a nice, fun lavender shade. I'm using the Lacme Absolute 3D Matte in the shade Explosive Purple. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. As the last and final step, I'm gonna use the Rene Peachy Pink Blush Duo and take this mauve shade. You see there's a little bit of purple in that pink. And I'm gonna apply this right to the outer edge of my face, kind of like a contour almost. And there we have it guys, a look number two. The white dots under the pupil, it almost looks like your eyes are sparkling. I love it, so anime, you know? Let's move on to look number three, and this one I call it the Orange Popsicle. Today I'm using the Lacme Absolute Gelato Collection in 01 Mandarino. All I'm doing is creating a rainbow shape right on my inner corner. So for pop of color, we've usually applied it right here. We've done the winged eyeliner. How about tap into this uncharted territory, okay? Just one umbrella <laughs> right in your inner corner, boom. We're gonna call in for reinforcement. I'm gonna pick up this orange from Makeup Revolution Wild Animal Palette. And I'm gonna pick it up with an angled eyeshadow brush. Tap that into the coal pencil. So this is going to make that orange really, really bright and poppy. Taper out the edges and kind of make it more intense right towards this portion. We are not going all the way to the end and we are not going all the way towards the inner corner either. We are stopping literally at 
this point. That is it. If I want to make it a little bit more poppy, I can mix it with this yellow or this deep orange red shade. I'm going to pick that orange red shade. I'm going to switch out into a pencil brush for that precision. And this we will apply just right here. For this look, I want a little bit more volume on my top lashes. For that, I'm going to use the Divine Volume and Curves Mascara from Deborah Milano. If you apply equal amount of volume to your lower lashes as well, it's a different look that you're getting. You get more of an open eye doll eyes effect, not a glam fun pop art effect where you're drawing attention to your top eyelid. Now for the lips, I'm going to line my lips with the Chambord Lip Pencil in the shade BR03. And then I'm going to take this Just Herbs Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade 05 Soft Nude with a lip brush, of course, and apply this all over the lips. I feel like this is that perfect terracotta-y nude lips for us brown girls. It perfectly, perfectly matches that orange summery vibe. How pretty is that? For the cheeks, we're going to intensify that orange cheeksicles by applying an orange blush. And today I'm using the Sugar Contour de Force in 05 Coral Climax. And this time, I'm actually going to place this right underneath the pupil. Add a quick trick with these really poppy colors. Dab off the excess on your arm. Otherwise, you might end up with a little too much blush. I mean, that's not a problem. And that is look number three completed. Super simple and easy, but so fun and trendy as well. There we go, guys. These are the three super trendy makeup looks that I am obsessing over this summer. I want to know which one is your favorite and which one will you be wearing the most. If you decide to recreate any of these look one, two, three hundred times, tag me on Instagram so that I can repost your beautiful face, okay? Remember, you can purchase all the products that I used to create today's video on Amazon. So definitely check out the links down below. So go ahead, get shopping, get some discounts and stay Harpal fashionable. I shall catch you in my next next one. I love you so much. Mwah.